So unfortunately, my mic peaks quite a bit whenever I do deep character voices, and you know what? It just be like that. I'm also sick, so that's un also unfortunate. However, I recorded these on stream, so if you want to see it uh, live, come check us out, twitch.tv slash hippievt. And if you really enjoy this video, please throw a like at the bottom of the page right there with that thumbs up. And uh, yeah, we will have fixed the peaking problem by next episode. If you're not subscribed, do it. Anyway, let's get on to the video. This game is so loud. Hey, can you hear me? Are you okay? You seem pretty out of it. To be honest, I'm also... No, everyone else feels the same too, since we suddenly got put in this weird situation. Hey, are you listening? I don't understand. Why am I here? What happened? I should try to remember that first. I began to think, disentangling the twisted knots that had formed in my mind. Think, 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 think. As I gathered the fragments of my scattered memories, I began to piece together what actually happened. That's right, I... I... Oh. Okay. So it's a video game. That day, it wasn't just a typical day for me. It was a day that felt truly significant. And when that long day awaited, and when that long awaited day finally came, I felt proud in a way I can't really put into words. I felt like I had just become part of something greater than myself. Does that make sense? Actually, that's exactly what it was like. I was truly in a dream. Hope's Peak Academy. That place was so much more than a school to me. Hmm. Kids who love to play baseball will long to... Huh? <laughs> Kids who love to play baseball will long to join the major leagues. Kids who love to play soccer will long to join a rep team. And ever since I was a kid, I felt the same way about Hope's Peak Academy. Hope's Peak Academy is a government-funded school for the privileged elite of society. It recruits the top students from every imaginable field to inspire hope and, in doing so, shape the future. Whenever Hope's Peak Academy is mentioned, it's only a matter of time before someone says, if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. And just so you know, that's not a joke or an exaggeration at all. Many of the current leaders of our various industries are actually alumni of this school. Well. That's basically what Hope's Peak Academy is all about. As they say, it's truly the Academy of Hope. There are two criteria you must meet in order to attend the school. One, you must be a current high school student. Two, you must be the very best at what you do. Unlike other schools, there aren't any ex entrance exams at this academy. The only way to get in is if the school scouts you itself. Uh, that's how Hope's Peak Academy operates. Now because of the talents of those who are chosen, the students of Hope's Peak Academy are called Ultimates. But even though I'm finally going to Hope's Peak Academy, the school I desired more than anything else, the truth is, my circumstance is a little different than that of my peers. Well, I guess I can put that aside for now. You'll find out soon enough, and it's nothing special worth talking about, I think. Anyway, I guess I should introduce myself first. I'm not so special that I have to introduce myself. And formalities are always a little embarrassing. Well, this is what's expected. I guess that's how I should think about it. My name is Hajime Hinata. There's only one reason I came to Hope's Peak Academy. Because I admired Hope's Peak Academy. To me, attending Hope's Peak Academy is like being a celebrity. Or a superhero. In fact, instead of calling it admiration, it's more like it's always been a dream of mine. That's why. To feel like a member of society to become someone I can be proud of. I always wanted to... For that reason alone, I always wanted to... 
For that reason alone, I always, 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 until now, I never wanted to admit how painfully ordinary I really am. That's why I hope I might have admitted talent, I might have admired talent individuality, but I have finally forever tried my best, finally came true to you. Uh huh? What is this? The Kingdom Hearts doorway! It's a door. There's a door. Still, I need to hurry. Because I need to go inside this classroom. Need? What need? No, I should hurry. goes there uh, um are you feeling all right you look quite pale uh, um hey could you be you're also a freshman at this school right uh then you're all see for yourself we're all freshmen too these guys everyone the freshmen who were accepted into hope's peak academy the ultimates i assume Freshmen like us have been gathered in this classroom. Gathered? Hm. Hey, why don't you just come inside for now? Uh, yeah, of course. Wait, why am I being so polite? I know they're all called ultimates, but there are still high school students like me. Uh, that's right, first impressions are crucial in moments like this. I need to act more confident. Thus to hide my nervousness from the others and while trying my best to act cool. I stepped inside, closed the door behind me, and sat in an open seat at the back of the classroom. Anyway, what just happened earlier? I wanted to be here and then a classroom door appeared right in front of me. As if I was drawn to it. But how did I walk to this classroom? I don't remember. Something's weird. Uh, excuse me? What? What is it? Why are we all gathered in this classroom? No one has said anything about coming here, so is there like an entrance ceremony or homeroom happening now? Hmm. Actually, we were just about to discuss that matter. Discuss? It's all clear now. Well, since you are at least are the last student to arrive, let's start the discussion. <gasps> is this everyone? How do you know? <laughs> There are only 16 desks in this classroom, and this guy is the 16th student. Such ignorance. It's obvious if you bother to think about it. Mm-hmm. And just what are we going to talk about? The reason we're all gathered here in this classroom? Hmm. First, I need to confirm something out of everyone here. Is there anyone who actually remembers how they came to this classroom? Uh -huh. We all looked around at each other. A surprised look appeared on everyone's face. Not one person raised their hand. I see. So before you realized it, you were in this classroom. And everyone here is in the same predicament. Very strange. No matter how you look at it, it's unnatural. Even you stupid looking ones would agree, right? What's going on? It sure is strange. Nobody actually remembers how they came here. Hey! Hey, what do you mean stupid looking? So in other words... The moment you set foot on campus, you felt a strange dizziness. And now you're here, and you don't know why. <laughs> that is what I experienced before I arrived here. Am I correct in assuming that's true of all of you? That happened to me too, but... Huh? Uh, that dizziness wasn't just me? Everyone felt the same dizziness? That's weird. I don't know what voice I'm gonna give Tara to- <laughs> Tara Tara. Like... Uh, it's, it's just, I know all of these character names because I watched the anime, but I'm very like, I don't know what I'm going to do with these guys. Uh, even if it's just a coincidence, it feels too good to be true. Naturally. So you're saying it's not just a coincidence then? Huh? So in other words... Meaning, we can only speculate who's responsible for this strange phenomenon. Who's responsible? What is it? It feels like this is going to 
get even stranger. Huh? Uh, huh? I don't know what you're so worried about, but <laughs> that doesn't sound like a huge deal. What do you mean? So what I mean is... I mean it's a minor problem. Instead of trying to figure out why we're here, we should try to figure out why we can't leave. What's that mean? What do you mean, why we can't leave? Impossible! <laughs> Seriously? Now I watched him rush over to the door and try with all his might to pull it open, but... Oh, it won't open! I can't open it! Huh? Why? <laughs> a little while after I got here, I tried to leave to go take a shit. But the door wouldn't budge at all! Hey, hey! Hey, hey, wh what's going on? Jeez! Even with all my might, I couldn't open it. It'd be absolutely impossible for all of you. What? What do you mean you couldn't open it? Why? That's not possible! She's right, that's impossible. Because when I went through the door, it opened normally. It wasn't locked at all. <sighs> Though I don't understand what forces are at work here. Anyway. There's no denying that we have been locked inside this classroom. Locked inside? What do you mean? I suddenly became aware of how heavy my body felt. As though a feeling of unspeakable dread began settling on my shoulders. Are we screwed? Maybe we're getting mixed up, and something dangerous? This is... Or, perhaps... Doesn't it make more sense to think that this is the entrance exam? The entrance exam? The entrance exam? You mean Hope's Peak Academies? However... But according to Hope's Peak Academy, no such entrance exam exists. But... They may say that publicly, but it's possible that this is actually a special entrance exam. That's wrong! That's where you're wrong! This is not an entrance exam! What? What was that just now? Hey, bastard! <laughs> hey, fat ass. Why don't you make that cutesy voice all of a sudden? Hmm. I won't dispute your blunt remark about my weight, but the voice you heard was not mine. Huh? Then whose was it? Um... It's actually mine! Who's there? Who are you? Perhaps... Sounds like he came from behind the teacher's desk. Behind the teacher's desk? Hello! Alright, I see everyone has arrived! Let's begin! Okay. What is that? Um, it looks like a stuffed animal. That's right. I am a squeezably soft stuffed animal. Magical miracle girl Usami. A.K.A. Usami. <laughs> okay. I may not look like it, but I am your squeezably soft teacher. Nice to meet you all. Huh? Am I halluc- eh, oh, Jesus. Am I hallucinating? Am I the only one who's seeing this? What's going on? Nah, I see it too. Huh? What's with the talking chihuahua? Ah! That's a chihuahua? Everyone! Does everyone know- Does everyone here know what a rabbit is? It's a lovable animal that's very fluffy and soft. <laughs> that's what I am, a singing, dancing, talking rabbit mascot. Huh? Uh, let me process this first. Um, what do you guys think? I've never seen a stuffed animal that could sing, dance, and talk before. Hmm. It's probably, it's probably remote controlled or something. Wait, hold on. It's probably remote controlled or something. Don't act like a pussy over a child's toy. Hmm. Even if it's remote controlled, it doesn't look too lifelike. That's pretty advanced for a toy. Stop talking. Its movements and mannerisms are not the issue. More importantly, based on what it just said. Come on. Seems you know n something about our current situation. Leave it to me. Of course I do. I'm the leader, lead teacher of this school trip. What did school you say? trip? Come on. What do you mean school trip? <laughs> a large group of students go on a chaperone trip with a teeth. With the lead teacher, it's the biggest event of the school year. Uh, we're not looking for such a literal answer. Ding, 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 ding. Now let's depart for the fun school trip. Uh, depart?
Okay. Okay. Huh? I couldn't believe my eyes. Not just my eyes, but my brain too. The world just stopped making sense. The classroom collapsed like a stage set, and what appeared before me instead was blue sky, white clouds, blue sea, white waves. What? Who <laughs> is this? No matter how I tried to rationalize it, it was abnormal. Clearly unreasonable. Utterly crazy. Blatantly wrong. A bunch of other synonyms. Um. Huh? Whoa, 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 what? Are you kidding me? This is a joke, right? Emergency! <laughs> Why? What's going on? Everyone! Please stay calm. <laughs> There's no reason to panic. See, look around. Feast your eyes on this beautiful ocean. It's like your heart is being washed clean, isn't it? It washes away everything, even all the bad things. Hold on. Hold on. Give us the details. Where in the world are we? Um... Where, you ask? Well, obviously we're... <laughs> out where it's better, out where it's wetter. Ta-da! Out by the sea. I don't understand this is the sea. I understand this is the sea, but what are we doing here? Um... You know, it's your, your throat's gonna get hoarse if you keep screaming like that. Something like this! But we're just in school and now we're by the sea? This is impossible! No problem! Please don't worry, the school trip has just started, that's all! Hold on a sec! But like, why are we on the school trip all of a sudden? You totally skipped all the stuff that comes first! She's right. We're all supposed to be attending Hope's Peak Academy. I see! Ah, Hope Speak Academy, I see, I see, you don't say. You guys are feeling unsure about Hope Speak Academy, then in that case... Alrighty! Please forget about Hope Speak Academy, that's why we're having a school trip in the first place! Uh-huh. Bastard! The hell do you mean we should forget about it? Come on. Hey, what are you? Just what are you scheming? Oh, uh, what, what? I'm not scheming anything, I'm doing this for everyone's sake. I'm praying from the bottom of my heart that hope will grow within everyone's heart. No problem. There's nothing dangerous on this island whatsoever, so please, there's no need to worry at all. Wait. Island? Did you just say island? Ta-da! Yep, and it certainly is beautiful. It was prepared just for us, an island free from other people in danger. Are you saying this island is uninhabited? Could it be? Perhaps you brought us to this uninhabited island to make us kill each other? <laughs> Kill each other? That's... No way! Bloody business like causing violence or inflicting pain is a big no-no on this island. Even the word kill just horrifies me. Yeah. So scary! What are you thinking? Then what the hell is this school trip you mentioned? What do you intend for us to do on this island? Ta-da! Alrighty, I shall announce it to everyone right now! Got it? While you all relax on this island paradise, you must get along and strengthen your bonds with one another. That is the main rule on this heart-throbbing school trip. What did you heart say? Heart-throbbing school trip? That's right! Spend these peaceful and relaxing days nourishing hope and lazing about free from pain, free from suffering. <laughs> everyone's homework! That's everyone's homework! Uh... What the hell does that even mean? Now then... Let the heart-throbbing school trip begin! <clears throat> it goes without saying, but I have no idea what she's talking about. I couldn't follow her words at all. And then, just like that, like a curtain slowly lowering, my mind ground to a halt.
That was kind of a bop. Are you okay? You seem pretty out of it. To be honest, I'm also... No, everyone else feels the same too, since we suddenly got put in this weird situation. Hey, are you listening? Hey, are you sure you're okay? Leave me alone. There's no way I can leave someone alone when they look that pale. Bright sandy beach, crystal blue ocean, sun's rays beaming down on me, the soft tropical wind brushing my skin. I definitely don't know what's going on. I'm supposed to attend Hope's Peak Academy. Why did this... Why am I here at a place like this? The rabbit said... That rabbit said we're on a tropical island. You're right. I have no idea what's going on. It's the only thing I can say with absolute certainty. Welcome to Dongon Island. I will explain the basic controls to you. With the mouse you can maneuver on the right- Well, I'm not using the mouse, so... We'll just skip all of that. I guess it makes sense for there to be palm trees on a tropical island. It's a mighty fine palm tree. Now's not the time for me to be impressed by it. A monitor on the tree? Why? <laughs> yeah, why is there a monitor at a place like this? The screen is blank. What's it being used for? Before I talk to that guy, I should try to understand the situation I'm in first. Is that a camera? A surveillance camera? Were we being monitored or something? That's not it. I wouldn't say we're being monitored. I think we're just being watched for our safety. <laughs> well, it's a waste of time to think about it. Best not to worry. What's with this guy? How can he be so calm in a situation like this? Maybe he's just a chill guy. Crystal clear, shining blue sea. It's perfect for a tropical island. So what's going on here? I never wanted anything like this at all. Hey. So, how are you feeling? Calm down now? Uh, I understand your confusion after everything that's happened, but why don't we start with an introduction? Introduction? I'm Nagito Komaeda. Nice to meet you. Ultimate lucky student. Oh, he's Makoto. Okay, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't remember any of their, like, talents from the show. Like, it just... How long has... It's been a long time since I watched it. It, it was a very long time since I watched it. But I remember all of these characters. <clears throat> Most of their names. But I don't remember any of their talents. Ah, along with my introduction. I guess I'll also tell you about my talent so you know... I guess I'll also tell you about my talent so you know why Hope Speak Academy chose me. <sighs> well, even if I tell you, in my case, it's a pretty disappointing talent. Disappointing talent? What do you mean? I'm lucky. What are you talking about? That's not it. It's not a joke or anything. That's my actual talent. I'm the ultimate lucky student. At least that's what I'm called, anyway. Ultimate lucky student? You're right. Through a countrywide lottery, apparently only one ordinary student is selected at random to attend. Hope's Peak Academy as the ultimate lucky student. And that lucky winner just so happened to be me. Chosen by a lottery. Is that really okay? I mean, is luck even a real talent in the first place? How strange. What happened? Your face looks troubled. Oh, no, I'm not troubled or anything. <laughs> no, it's fine. I have mixed feelings about this too. Someone like me? I never thought an average talentless high school student like me would ever enter Hope's Peak Academy. At first, I declined. I told them I didn't deserve it. But they told me they really wanted me to attend. Apparently, this so-called luck of mine is a talent that even the school doesn't fully understand. To research it, the school picks the ultimate lucky student every year through an annual lottery. <laughs> Hope Speak Academy is an amazing is amazing if they can actually research something as vague as luck. Well, thanks to that luck, a guy like me was able to attend Hope's Peak Academy. So for that, I'm grateful. This is troubling. But on the other hand, I feel a little out of place here. <laughs> uh, sorry, I have a bad habit of viewing most things through a pessimistic lens. 
uh, yeah, I guess that's it for my introduction. Huh, Nagito Komaeda, huh? He doesn't seem like the most reliable guy, but he doesn't strike me as a bad person either. Hey. Now then, it's your turn. Yeah, I'm Hajime Hidanada. Hmm. And let me ask you a question. What is your ultimate talent? Uh, I... I... I opened my mouth, but the words would not form. I felt my thoughts stalling in my head, as if I opened a book expecting to find words and instead found blank pages. It was that kind of uncomfortable feeling. The memory I was trying to recall had completely vanished from my mind. Uh huh? Without realizing it, my body began to shudder as waves of discomfort began pounding against me. What happened? Uh, it, it, it's nothing. <laughs> I guess I'm still pretty confused about all this. I'm having some trouble remembering some things. I understand how your memory might be confused after suddenly getting into a situation like this. I'm sure you'll remember soon enough once you've settled down. So, I don't think you need to worry about it all that much. Yeah, you're right. Yep. Then I guess we're done with our introductions for now. Even though I don't know what's going on, I hope we can get along. Hey, did something just beep? What a weird sound. I hastily stuck my hand out of my pocket. That's right. That strange mechanical sound just now definitely came from inside my pocket. What the hell is this? It's like a PDA or a smartphone. Why is something like that inside my pocket? Are you okay? Usami was passing them out earlier, remember? <laughs> oh, right. You seemed pretty out of it when that was going on. Now that you mention it, I think I kind of remember, but what is this? Ding, ding, ding. It's an e-handbook! What the? Where'd you come from? I'm sorry! Oh, did I startle you? I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> I know how to apologize like a g Whoa. Um, okay. Um. A little strange. <laughs> strange phrasing on that one. Anyway, don't you think it's cool? That handbook is absolutely vital for this school trip, so make sure you don't lose it. This is... This device is that important? I shall explain. I've asked everyone to use their e-handbook to gather all the hope fragments. Hope fragments? That's right! Um, on this island you'll obtain hope fragments as you get along with other classmates. Sus as fuck? Yeah, I'm saying, bro, that was a little, that was a little strange there. As a relationship with everyone improves, you'll be able to gather more and more hope fragments. Gather hope fragments so that the flower of hope achieves its full bloom. Truly, that is the main purpose of this school trip. Love, love! Hey! She's gone. A staff animal that moves, talks, and also appears wherever and whenever she wants, regardless of who's actually controlling it, still doesn't make any sense. It was all about that hope fragment. What's your deal? It's like we're in a game or something. <laughs> if it, this feels like a game, that's rather comforting. It means we're gonna be. That means we aren't gonna be in any danger right away. You're probably right, but more importantly, you don't know anything about the other students yet, right? Yep. And I think it's best if you at least introduce yourself to them. That's also true, but where'd everyone go? Perhaps... Maybe they're exploring the island as well. Exploring the island? Hey. As long as we're expected to live on this island, we should learn as much as we can about it. For example, what's this island's name? Is there a way to escape? What about food and living arrangements? <laughs> so, why don't we finish introducing ourselves to the others and explore the island at the same time? I pretty much went around and introduced myself to everyone already, but I'll tag along with you. So now he's decided to come with me. Well, I guess that's helpful for me. I know I'd worry if I was left alone by myself. All right. Shall we get going then? But is this really okay? To feel so relaxed in such a strange situation? Perhaps it's the tropical climate. Or is that... What's your name? Usami's fault. What happened? What is it, Hajime? Let's get going. Uh, right. Got it. At any rate, if this is a nightmare, I have no idea if it's even started yet. Sheesh. What kind of nightmare is that? You are now able to use the handbook. You can use it to check various information throughout the game. In the F1 team.